So this is Tidal Tribe, and if you've just stumbled across this video, I think I know why you're watching it, because you're a bit confused as to what you actually do in this intriguing new GOG game. And so let me explain the game in a nutshell. Uh, you play a godlike human who can raise and lower the land at will. Here I go, lowering it all over the place. Uh, your goal is to change the landscape enough um, to create the right conditions for various types of vegetation to grow. And different trees grow in different conditions, including how close they are to a lake, and their altitude, whether they like full sun or shade, and whether they're closer to the ocean or to the mountains up there. And once the trees have grown, the villagers can harvest them. Uh, the more types of stuff they can harvest, the more they can evolve, building bigger and better homes for themselves, and eventually you score enough to win. Uh, the key to all this is that is the tidal waves that regularly crash up on the same places on, of the beach each time. If you create, if you carved out the landscape well enough, you'll create lakes and permanent lakes, which are essential for keeping trees alive long term. Because there aren't that many lakes at the moment, there aren't that many trees. So yes, there's a full tutorial in game, in-game guides, cheat sheets, and also you can actually fly and glide and stuff like that. Uh, the game is by Powpit. Um, and thanks to them for giving me a key in advance of the release date on July the 18th. And this is just level one, uh, by the way. There are plenty of levels, although this is the first I've actually this is the first time I've actually played it without uh, using the tutorial. So it's going to be a bit tough. Ooh, <laughs> fell into the water. God damn it! Here are our lads. Off they go. I mean, he's he's already harvested something, and so have you, harvesting from these trees over here. So this village is actually doing quite well for itself because there's quite a few different types of tree. But yeah, I mean, the different types of tree, as I say, do need different requirements. Like, cocoa needs to be near the sea, on a sunny hill, and fairly near and permanent water. In fact, let's just have a quick look at the wiki. Um, go down to here. And you can see, like, for instance, palm trees, um, you can tell by these diagrams, they can be anywhere near the sea or the mountains. They can grow at any altitude, but they need to be on a flat bit, and they need to be reasonably close to water. Whereas, the cocoa tree needs to be close to the ocean. Uh, at any altitude, and it also needs to be on a sunny hill, not a flat bit, and it needs to be reasonably close to standing water, and stuff like that. And each of those different types of tree um, fulfil a certain need for villagers. Uh, villagers like working, but they also like chilling out for a while, and so you've got to like balance that. And if you do it well enough, you will increase the score from 71 to 500, and you will win the level. There's quite a lot of information here to use, and also there's map information here, which is incredibly ugly, but it's very useful indeed to work out what the hell is going on. Like, for instance, let's go over to the old town. This is the one that's on top of a hill. If we change this to altitude, and take just D show that, D show that, and D show that, and we'll see that um, these three, well, I've got six red houses here, and they're red because the altitude is too high. If we can get these to turn green by lowering the land, we'll make them happier, and we'll hopefully increase our score. So I'm just going to go into fly mode. This over here is the old town. They're complaining. Well, he's not, but <laughs> they will complain that they have to walk up a hill, and they don't like living at this altitude, so we do actually need to lower it a bit. So let's get a good tool out. Let's use the terraformer because that's the biggest thing to use and all we have to do is get these houses down low enough don't worry i'm not some you know like i'm destroying anything here the houses will remain i just need to get the um, altitude low enough to turn these green as i say so let's just see how far down we need to go and this one's slightly off red now because we are changing it ah we're turning it green so you your house there you're at the correct altitude, so if we lower this, and that one, and that one, we are turning them all, slowly but surely, green, and they'll cheer up a bit. Now the key here is not is to make it so we don't actually put them in the way of the flood, because of the tidal wave will come in and flood them. It won't kill them, but it will put a crimp on their day. Now this map does um, update itself every few seconds to show things like if there's water around, and there currently is. So it looks like these two huts over here need to be lowered a little bit. Aha! There we go. They are now happier. Now let's create a bit of a lake situation. This bit's already created its own little bit of a lake, but we can we can do better. Let's make... oh, there's a little, um, <laughs> there's a little uh, tutorial marker there. Don't need to worry about that. So by putting that wall there, we'll um, hopefully make it so that when the water comes in, this will fill up a bit more with water. 
Now, you can't just, like, um, design, for instance, one great big lake, because they do need to commute to go and actually go to the, um, the various um, trees to harvest. And if they have to go, like, all the way around the water, they will be unhappy because they're spending all the time working and not playing. So you need to make sure that there's always a route to all the different kinds of tree. So we've actually created quite a good bit of standing water there. Which is nice. Nice little lakey poos. This round here, the water will come down here as well. So let's take advantage of that. Let's... When the water comes in, you can see how um, this is actually uh, a bit damp. But unfortunately, the water doesn't stay here. So let's create a bit of a wall. Like this. Which isn't too high that it stops the water coming in. But it's high enough to actually stop it running out again. This is actually not the best way of doing it. It's easiest to do it when you're in flying mode, but it's less fun. And if you're careful enough, you will actually make it so... Oh, here we go. That you'll be able to leave roots for them to walk along. Right, so the water is actually still creeping out a bit. There we go. But we've got a reasonable amount of water. And by the looks of it, over here, whilst I've been yakking on, this, because this water has now stayed around for a while, it's actually encouraging new trees to grow. That's a palm tree. Down here... I think those are dates. And um, dates... Oh, I don't think... I'm not sure it is actually a date. No, it can't be. I think that might be Soapbury. Soapbury is good for their hygiene, apparently. Uh, that needs to be fairly fairly near the sea on a shady hill. I think that's reasonably shady. What are you complaining about? Rain? I'm not quite sure if there's rain in this game. <laughs> Certainly not, not in level one. Right, so they're busy wandering around to harvest the trees, which is nice. Not sure what you are. And you can do this to, to the whole landscape. It's not just this um, particular old town. In fact, this looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Let's, um, let's change the tool. Let's make it so there's a nice thing. In fact, let's actually put the smoothing tool on, because that makes for a nicer landscape for them. I've got to be careful, as I say. Oh dear, I've, I've um, changed the conditions and that tree's buggered off. Hmm, I think I may also need to stop this from flooding. What are you doing? You're just having a rest under the tree. You're just chilling. Nice. So let's pop over here again to see how our lake is doing. Oh! Oh god! <laughs> this is just when it's starting to flood. Ah! Get out of here. <laughs> now there's a bit of a problem at this end. It looks like the water's coming in, but then it's leaving again. So it looks like we're going to need... Let's go up in the air. Looks like we're going to actually need to seal this end off. Also, maybe there as well. So next time the tide comes in, we should hopefully trap it. Here we go. We're still actually quite um, still quite lively. The water by the time it gets up here. Oh no, that's one hell of a lake. Noise. So, oh hello, there's already a tree growing there. I may actually reduce this a little bit. Well, in fact, let's try to get some um, soap bridge because that needs to be fairly near the sea on a shady hill. So, if we haven't got to be careful of the, the houses, if we try and raise this up enough, let's also make, raise that a little bit. Create a bit of a surface. Should hopefully encourage a bit of shade and something might happen. Not quite sure we're doing that very well though. There's actually loads of trees growing on this side. Right next to the bloody village, which is probably a good thing because then they don't have to go very far to harvest it. There's the water coming in again. Can't escape from this side. Let's raise this a little bit. And lower this. Just so they're not having to climb too much of a slope. Now it looks like this area over here is ripe for a bit of um I think we've we put in a little bit of a thing, didn't we? Possibly? I don't know. But this looks like a good place to build a bit of a wall. The water's coming in here. Oh, it doesn't quite make it over this wall. Hmm. Okay, maybe not then. If we put it there instead. 
Maybe I can actually guide the water down to go into here instead. Sm let's do a smooth. We'll smooth that off and then make it lower over here. We'll maybe hopefully capture a bit more water. Although that'll have to be changed. So the water doesn't escape there. Yeah, we're not getting any water. We're not getting any tides at the moment, are we? It's a bit... Sometimes you have to wait quite a while before anything actually happens with the water. It doesn't really feel like I'm achieving anything now. Actually quite a nice verdant area over there. There's a little beer and beachside properties as well over here. Oh, here's, here's the water. Coming in. No, that wasn't a very good one. I think, it's, I think it's because we only get a little bit of water over here. Yeah, we just don't get that much. I think I think it's over here I need to um, concentrate on. What I might do is actually increase the size of this lake. Because I also don't want it to be encroaching too much on the actual living bit over there. Nice shadow. Oh, no, that's no good. That's going to escape. I mean, what I could do is just have it uh, create a little lake like that. I'll create a good damp condition for various things. I think I'll increase this a bit. Someone could be having a fire on the beach. Blimey. I'm not sure I am. allow that. Now there's another um, tidal wave area over there. Could be quite useful to exploit at some point. It's definitely being a bit more verdant now over here, isn't it? Which is nice. So what else? What what needs do they have? Make sure that's shown. So at the moment, they, these houses are all very red. They've got no. They've got very little pleasure, for which they need cocoa. Which needs to be near near the sea on a sunny hill. So I'm guessing these are cocoa trees. That's fairly near the sea, isn't it? Oh, conditions are changing. I'm not sure there's enough water. Although that might be them. What have you got there? I think either that's cocoa or it's a. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I still haven't quite learned all the different um, trees yet. So I've gone a bit further away from the old town. We'll try and do something a bit more with this. Because we don't really exploit this thing at the moment. So let's... What I do is... Put this there just to retain some of the water. I should really do that as a wall, but never mind. Let's see what happens if we actually retain a goodly amount of it. Oh, there's no bloody water. <laughs> Come on, ocean, do your thing. Should do this, and then take down this over here. Create the potential for another lake. I should really be using the smoothing tool a bit more. Uh, which is th that one. Because it's all looking a bit ugly at the moment. Quite a bit of wildlife as well, if you actually look around for it. Like there's um there's penguins and ducks and gulls and there's a gull over there. Right where my cursor is. Oh! You need a tidal wave. Let's see what's happening. That's just really, really a real big one. Now, where's all the water going? Right, well, I could try and stop it from going over there. Oh, yeah, that's actually... um. Oh, my God, that's actually retained it quite well, hasn't it? When it all came rushing back. Do a little bit more. 
did actually stop here. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> trees come, trees go. This hillside over here has started to, to get a bit livelier. So they'll only... They knew we'd have... There are a few things at the moment over here. A few different kinds of trees. I think they're banana trees. I think banana trees, which apparently they need for fun. I'm not quite sure what they're doing with them. <laughs> I've got a few ideas. Um, anywhere that's not near the mountains and it's on a flat bit. So this looks like... Yeah, over here, There's some, this is a nice flat area. I think that's a banana tree. It could be fairly near the water. So yeah, that'll do. I'm not sure what that sort of tree that is. You don't see that one very often. Oh, hello tree. Just returning to the old town now. See how things are going. It's a really healthy looking lake there. I approve. Let's see what stats we can work out. If I show this, we can actually see where the cocoa trees are. So we've got some dyed around. So soapbury. So it's, the, it's basically the, the lit up ones. So we've got near the old town, we've got cocoa trees. We have got soapbury. I've got some banana. Watermelon we haven't got because we haven't got the pumpkin granites nearby. Date palms will be a bit further away. God, there's no pineapple trees anywhere near here. Pineapples aren't that important right now, though. Um, pomegranate trees are pretty much the same. There's hardly any anywhere. Pomegranates, weirdly enough, they they can actually be anywhere flat. So the, you'd, have, you'd have thought there'd be more. So this village is actually doing okay in theory. Hmm. Let's show that instead. So these... Oh, this is actually not the, that's not the, the old town, is it? Oh, hang on. So they've got a little bit of pleasure, a little bit of hygiene, no fun at all, no bananas. Although this should be, because there's some bananas nearby. I think you just have to wait a lot of the time for them to actually harvest stuff. I can actually help. So let's do that. Harvest. Get a bit closer. There we go. I've, I've harvested a banana and give it to, let's say, this house over here. Then they can craft, I think it's some banana peel. And they get fun out of that. And I can keep on doing that. Let's tr maybe try and get... God, this is... You really can't... Ah! <laughs> you really can't go up steep hills at all in this mode. And this is what they're doing automatically, but I can just help out. But yeah. Also, if I go back into God mode, I will lose everything. So this isn't a particularly efficient way of doing it. In fact, I'm just going to quit. There we go. Oh, I managed to give them a banana. Which is something. But I still, still don't really have that many trees around. I feel like I need to make more lakes. So I'm quickly trying to make the best of what I've got. And this bit's proving a bit of a tricky area. At the moment, yeah, the water does has filled this up quite nicely. But we can do better over here. It goes up here, fills this little bit up, but it doesn't go any further than that, really. I don't really want to break this wall. What I might do, what I might be able to do, is try to guide it a bit. So not, so a bit goes up there, but some of it will sort of like be forced to come up here and hopefully jump over this wall and keep on going. It's quite dynamically modelled the water. Let's see if that's done anything. Come on, guide. Oh, here we go. Holy shit, that's more like it. And a little bit has actually got up there still. That's good. Make sure that lake is continuing to be filled. Yeah, this is nice. Look at this. We've got a whole new floody area here. Although, hopefully I... Oh dear, here we go. We do actually need to increase that a bit. I think some of the water escaped down there. This is actually quite a nice little region now. With any luck, some things will start to grow on here. Don't get too steep. Well, maybe we do. I don't know. 
Maybe this isn't a very good place to grow. Oh, there we go. Yep. Encourage that to grow. That is on a shady hill. That's probably a soapberry. It's going to be a bit hot and tricky to harvest that, but I'm sure they're up to the task. Yeah, this is nice. Already the map looks a lot more lush, doesn't it? There are other kinds of plants as well, which aren't quite so obvious. Like, there's that, which is like fence wood. Oh yeah, this is... I've really guided the water quite nicely now. And I've made sure that it isn't just one big lake, so they can still commute over it. You can actually see their commutes by clicking this button over here. If you see a little path, that means they're having to spend a long time going around to get something, to harvest something that they need. And so you can sort things out accordingly. Let's go back to the old town. Old town is looking very lush, but they still haven't actually improved their houses at all. Actually, look at this. This is there's a bit of water flapping about here. At some point, some water has actually come over the wall. Plenty of bananas there now. Well, it looks like you're possibly doing some upgrading. What are you doing? Oh! You're, you're tending to your son, possibly crafting. Hydra Schuster. All just hanging out. Yeah, everywhere's looking much nicer now. Although, I could probably do with a bit more terraforming. Let's increase that a little bit. This over here could do better. Water does come up here. But then it could, like, drifts away again. It's not great. Let's create... The, yeah, you can see where the water's come down again. So let's dam that there. Oh, water's coming in. So you can use the, um, the, the wet bits, the damp sand, to guide exactly where you need to dam off. Oh, uh-oh. There's a flood. I think I may have buggered up there. Emergency. Underwater. Where's it flooded? We may be okay. It might have just been very quick. Oh no, there's something still flooded. Uh, emergency underwater. Anything that's glowing bright white should currently be. Can't really see anything. Hmm. It's the the, the word is dissipating. Maybe it, oh, who knows? Still don't fully understand. Normally, as I say, it's, it's a house that's underwater. And you just have to go and make sure that they're not drowning. Let's put that there. So this should actually be creating soon. It's so little... Oh, that's, that's killed that. Oh! New palm tree. New banana tree, because it's a flat bit. I'm wondering whether they should actually create a few more potentials for smooth I need to find smooth at all there it is try to find a new potential new new potential areas for banana trees go around here yeah look at this this is not ideal water is actually coming in here let's stop that happening any excess water oh god yeah this is not ideal any excess water should we fall down here, I guess. Oh, I kind of like want to keep this. This water's useful. There we go. Kind of comes in round there and goes round there to here. The trouble is, it is actually you're probably doing that at the expense of these houses. So let's... Let's actually push these houses up a little bit, like this. Actually make a virtue of this lake here. It's not a very big tool, that is it? There. <laughs> bit ugly, but never mind. Hopefully the water will drain out here, if needs be. Yeah, that should be fine. So just looking at the stats, it does seem that bananas uh, are dragging us down somewhat. They're getting a lot of the other stuff, including watermelons. 
but bananas weirdly lacking so I'm just trying to really create nice big flat areas where we might actually be able to get uh oh hang on flood still can't see where it is <laughs> never mind I think people are just getting their feet wet nothing worse so yeah just trying to create the conditions for banana trees now it raises up a bit Make it nice and flat. Do 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 do. Flat. This bit could be better as well. Flat. In, th in theory, bananas aren't actually that difficult. But will they grow? Will they sod? Who reads? Everyone's looking so nice now. And yet for some reason the score just isn't going up. We've got 70, that's actually worse than when we started. The problem is we've got... I see we've got very little fun. And our buildings are not... I mean, the last time I was playing this, uh, I was able to get the buildings up to quite impressive buildings. At the moment they're not. So I'm kind of like... I need to really work out what I'm doing wrong. You can actually um, unlock... Like, up, like, you can make upgrades if you want, like, um, like that. More soap breeze, more dates, more blah 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 blah, more fruits per watering, plants age slower. We haven't got enough bananas for that. And various other things as well. Hold breath longer. NPCs can hold their breaths longer. Actually, that might be a good idea. And various other things as well. Okay, so that's a bit of a like a rush through some of the um some of the stuff that you can do. So I'm not doing nearly as well as I was when I actually had the tutorial <laughs> enabled. The buildings just aren't evolving at the moment, but they do, I promise. Once they've actually got the right materials. I think dates, maybe they need more dates to actually um, help build their stuff. But ah, whatever. So this is out this should be out now by the time you see this. Uh, and it is fascinating, as I haven't even seen beyond level one yet. But I love the mechanisms and I love what you can actually do and you're creating all the lakes and basically creating the conditions for things to thrive. It's all rather beautiful, really. Right, so thanks for watching. Do um, subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live. And check out the click out the link to the Patreon if you want to support the channel. A uh, link should be um, appearing on the screen or in the description or whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.